Okay. You were talking about. So you're talking about a typical uh, surveillance center and. Uh, And the, and the solution that you have for the for that typical surveillance center. So for the surveillance center, you would have, uh, uh, of course, the video wall from the screens. That is the screens for the video wall side. Then you have the the HD the matrix. So the matrix is is uh, used for controlling the the display. And uh, if you're going to have a matrix for your project. The matrix is a high end and the needs for for large large to high um, to enterprise based solution uh, control. So you have the 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 video wall controller. Now the signal coming from computers. So the signal coming from computers is in terms of uh, the server. So you are maybe you're having a DSS server running somewhere. Now then the computers is. Uh, will be used to decide which information is coming to the display. So it's more of transmitting information from from the DSS server to the display. This one is just controlling the controlling the the display properties, not not the actual content. So the DSS will be used for controlling the video in terms of now manipulation. And. Uh, so for this case, uh, it's an implementation where you're having cameras in your network and uh, the DVR. So if, when we're having analog cameras or digital camera or IP cameras connected by network now to the display. The, the keyboard uh, in this uh, so, uh, solution or maybe scenario is uh, more of uh, trying to uh, change the camera properties or manage the camera properties in terms of if you're having PTZs in your in a surveillance area, you need to do maybe uh, properties like zooming, focusing, uh, changing the position. So such and such cases. And uh, maybe uh, an example of a solution where you're having a mall with a, with a, with a video wall in place. So, an example would be you're having a, a mall in a, with a, a display. So you have LCD displays, that is the screens installed at some, at some particular point. Uh, then you have, this one is called a, a, a network, key, network video decoder, NVD. So NVD is like a matrix. So uh, the topic for today was about NVD and matrix. So NVD is like a matrix, but for the middle end or low end solution. So, it's a cost-effective uh, controller for the video world. So you have uh, maybe four screens, and these one are connected to this controller. Then the solution here, you're having a media player. As we said before, you can in integrate the uh, DAHUAS uh, advertisement products into the video world. So you're having this, uh, this product is called uh, uh, Android Playbox, sending the signal to the decoder. Then the decoder sends the uh, information to the display now. So you, you can decide the content going to this playbox using the MPS flat platform. So I covered last week, last week we were doing um, training on MPS. Uh, we are doing training on MPS at our, at our offices in Sumi. And I think this week also we're going to do MPS, it's more of repetition. And uh, so the MPS is used for advertisement purposes. So you're having a, an MPS seated, uh, someone in a computer somewhere remote, remote, managing the information coming to this uh, display using the media playbooks. So it's an integration of video wall with with a media public media system that is the advertisement products. Also, uh, this digital signage is like MPS, but uh, MPS in one. So the, the Android properties and everything is bundled into one. Well, this one is just a controller that you can use any screen or DAWA screen to be able to use it as an advertisement screen. So basically this is the uh, solution for advantages of having DAWA's uh, display, display uh, solution that is the video wall because it's convenient for 
integration between advertisement products and also, and uh, you're having, if you purchase the advertisement products, you will have uh, 20 free devices. So 20, 20 is quite a number, it's a very good number, free without, without, without uh, charge, but as you progress, you just uh, pay as you go. So you have more, you can just pay for those, license for those more. And the license is one time. So maybe uh, another solution that uh, uh, for a solution for uh, using using a video wall is in terms of training room. So CVSC Android is a is a platform. So for training a training room, you are, you can use you can use uh, the video wall also as a training room because you're having a signal coming to to the to now this same as the the, the NVD now to the display. So solution advantage include uh, you can multiple control modes, maybe from web and iPad. Uh, 4K, so 4K is we are going to do local signal that is from HDMI output. And uh, so for, uh, for, for uh, video wall management controllers, that is the, the NVD side, you are doing flexibility in image management and video management. So maybe if you, if you feel like you are interested in, in, in video world products, you can, you, can, you, can, you can comment on that. You, can, I, you are able to unmute yourself and you can, you can ask a question. Maybe you can, I can organize for you from the sales side at our team in our office, we organize for a quotation for the same, or maybe a follow-up. Also, we do site survey for, for video world installations. So some other application scenarios include uh, control command, smart city. So as smart city, uh, for this case, smart city is, a, is quite a large scope for large scope solution that we offer as a company. So smart cities is another big solution that we provide as a company for, for complete smart, complete city monitoring uh, scenario. So it, it encompasses not only screens, but also other products that are for smart, for smart city. So another topic for another day. And uh, other usage for the video wall include uh, the finance, finance centers. So finance in telco operator. So you, you might be having an, a knock, a network operating center somewhere, then you can have a video wall or maybe uh, to track those the controllers and, and such and such in the network center, knock center. Uh, we also do videos for TV stations and exhibition rooms, uh, shopping mall, airport, reception. So th this one, this one just an example for, for application scenarios, but application scenarios is, is now upon you to decide whether to apply it in a particular field. It's now you're in your creativity or your marketing properties to be able to, to show how to use in which particular place. So some of the success cases that we have done uh, display solution include uh, Lausun Paper Industrial Park. So 46 inches uh, screens. And uh, in Singapore, we have 46 inch uh, for the video wall. Uh, in uh, Cambodia, it's a government project. In Tunisia, it's a government uh, control center. And uh, in uh, Greece, having exhibition hall office with 46 inches and 55 inches, so two sets, 46 and 55 inches screens. Other is in uh, Peru Telco base. So Telco, Telco is in terms of uh, network operators or maybe service providers. Uh, India Mall and Kayseri organized industrial zone. So we have uh, Westgate shopping mall. So we have this one now is, is, is locally here in Kenya. I have Westgate shopping mall. We have a uh, uh, scenario dam dome control center in Hong Kong emergency center. Others in Bangladesh, Italy, Beijing, Indonesia, Algeria, and Vancouver. So and others we're having other projects that are underway. So these are just some of the success cases where, where our users have allowed us to be able to, to use the information for marketing. Of course, we have others that users do not want to disclose the information. 
for the for the for this display solution both locally and in other countries. So I'm going to, to talk about now the, the, the network keyboards. So it was the scope for today in, in terms of uh, display products. And I think for this February, this is our last, uh, last session for the display products. I'm just, in terms of network products, I'm going to use our website for, for the same network keyboard. So we provide, we also have network keyboards and our keyboard was ranked the best in, uh, in, terms, of, in terms of design and also in terms of operation. So there's a document that I did not share the same. So for keyboard series, we have different keyboards as a company, we have NKB 1000. And uh, for these such kind of keyboards, you can control. So our keyboard support both our cameras and other cameras, as long as you're going to do, uh, they, they support ONVIF or CJ protocol for the interoperability. So for the network, this, this one is a, is a cheaper version. So it's a cheap, cheap, cheap side is very cheap. You can purchase this one. Uh, we have now NKB 5000. 5, so the difference between this and this is that you can, you can do sort of video wall because it supports uh, output of 4K from four HDMI ports. So the, the, the keyboard has four HDMI ports that you can connect to screen to, to achieve sort of video properties. So you're adding cameras to your keyboard, then the keyboard project projects the cameras to the, to the screen. And also you can do for, uh, uh, control of keyboards either using RS485 RS, RS or network. And also other option include uh, key, keypad modules. So the, the keyboard, uh, keyboard is, 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 a, is a bit uh, more, of, more of the same because we have just two, two basic and general uh, categories, this one and this one. And all of them can do video wall and uh, display and control. You can do display control and uh, it, has key, uh, it has keypad for the same. So the video is not that quite large scope, but if you're going to have a, a, a control center, it's advisable to you for you to have video walls for the same. Because it, it brings that look and, look and feel for your solution site. And uh, so let me check. Uh, let me check some other documents we see can can share on the same. So you can look at a scenario where you're uh, for smart hotel uh, display and control solution. Okay, so unfortunately, some of the documents are a bit restricted, so we can't we can't share. But basically, it's just about the the decoders and the screens. So I don't know if there's any other question or if there's any question regarding the video wall and uh, the topics for today. So you can ask. So until next, the next time we're going to do display products is maybe next month. But for those who are available in Kenya, we, in the afternoon, we're going to have a training on, on the same video wall on uh, advertisement products. So it's a bit of a practical. So for those of us who are available locally, we will do training in the afternoon for the advertisement products. So if there's, uh, 
If there's no question, I think we can uh, end today's training. I have, I have a question. Yes. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, I got some experience on some uh, uh, wall LED displays. Yes. When they are putting for a long time without installing, they change some colors of the display. So what's the problem of the uh, changing on the screen? So um, if it's a project that we have done, we have uh, we do support for the same. And uh, we, we also, when, when shipping our, maybe you have a, a, the LED display project, while shipping the project, we, we ship with spare parts. So in case there was an error in uh, installing, so most of the cases, uh, the error comes in, in terms of maybe uh, installation. So it's more of installation. And uh, if it's something that's within the, the screen itself, maybe installation was correct and everything was fine. We, we uh, when you're shipping the products, we have spare parts for the same. Okay. So maybe I'll follow up on the same with you. Okay. I don't know, if it's, is it a project that we did as a company? No, no. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a third party screen. Yeah. Okay. So, but if it's a project, we, we ship our products with the uh, spare parts for the same, and we also offer support in the same. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. So, any other question, or maybe something that you need a quote on? Uh, so, if you feel like you have a project, maybe if you are not from from this platform, of course, you can uh, reach out on, on me on WhatsApp. So that if you have a quote or maybe something that you need to uh, concern about, you want to know more about, about our advertisement products or display products, just reach out, reach out to me on WhatsApp so that we can engage more, give you a quotation on the same, and uh, we also do site visits. So if you have a project for video wall, we, have, we do site visits for the same. LED or LCD display, we do site visit. Okay, so if there's, there's no question, I think we can end uh, our meeting for today. So today's training is, uh, we're going to end it there. Then on tomorrow, tomorrow we'll be having another training at uh, about uh, troubleshooting. So we're going to do training now on product basis that is in terms of camera troubleshooting and NVR troubleshooting. So we're going to cover most, I think this is, the, this is a topic that now it's for the technical side, more of technical. Today is more of sales oriented or pre-sales engineers. So tomorrow we're going to do training on uh, troubleshooting of NVR and uh, cameras. So if there's no question, I think we can end the, 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 the training. And uh, I want to thank you all for, for coming. Uh, see, you, see you next time. And the videos will be uploaded to YouTube, the link that I sent to the groups. So by the end of the day, the video will be available in that section. So have a nice day.